Let me start this off by saying I played a lot of games this year. Resident Evil 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, Devil May Cry 5, Monster Hunter World, Detroit Become Human, Indivisible, Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, Star Wars, Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast! <sighs> but none of them have been able to capture me quite like Hidetaka Miyazaki's Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, if you know me, you'd know that Sekiro is my game of the year. I absolutely adore this game and Miyazaki's vision. If you're familiar with this channel, I covered the controversy when it was in full swing. Even got into a few fights with the accessibility crowd. But that's neither here nor there. Point is, I love Sekiro. To the point of platinum trophy status. That's right, I did everything this game had to offer. I beat it five times now, got every ending, every ability, every collectible. I did it all. And as the months went by, I eagerly waited for a DLC announcement. Looking at from Saul's track record with Dark Souls all the way to Bloodborne, DLC pretty much was confirmed in my mind, you know? Until I found out the sad news. The team had no plans for DLC, which was a shame, because some of those endings were ripe for DLC. Whether it be more of the same, combat-wise, or a brand new spin. Ah, here's the Elden Ring, I suppose. I miss Sekiro. And I'd be anticipating a Vadi Vidya video on things that I already knew about the story. I just wanted more. I still remember when this game cemented itself as a masterpiece to me. The Guardian Ape Fight. This thing kicked my ass over and over and over. And then I finally beat it. Or at least I thought. I headed over to collect the final piece of the puzzle, and the fog gate was still there. Then it happened. Yup. He got up, and I had to do it all over again. And then I started playing the game the way it was meant to be played. By Perry. I had unlocked the true potential of this combat, and as soon as I did, Sekiro's true colors shine, but something did catch my eye. I think you know where I'm going with this. Finally, some Star Wars Jedi fall in order. Now, at first, it just looked like your standard Star Wars game, and that was fine for me. But then the launch date started vastly approaching, and the news for this game really started coming out. Faster than Anakin killing those kids in Revenge of the Sith. The game started looking more and more like Sekiro. Hell, people who got to play it early even said that it played just like Sekiro and Daughter Souls games. It's safe to say I was excited. More so than I probably should have been at the time. This was EA after all. Not a very solid track record, especially when it comes to Star Wars. But now, Jedi Fallen Order, EA is finally breaking its old habits. Hopefully. I'm not even kidding. I was too excited. I was screaming at my friends every chance I get. This was the DLC. No, no, this was the sequel. This was Sekiro 2. To me at least. Now I know it isn't actually Sekiro 2. It's not DLC, it's not even a true spiritual successor. But I'd go as far as to say it's a love letter to Sekiro and uncharted at that. Honestly, if Miyazaki was tasked with making a Star Wars game, this would be that game. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order reinvents so much of Sekiro's gameplay, with the addition of the thing that's all around us. It lives, it breathes, it keeps the balance. I'm talking about the Force, naturally. The Force is just another layer on the Sekiro-esque combat style and gives the game so much depth. It brings new offensive and defensive abilities for any situation you find yourself in, making crowd control a breeze. For my ally is the Force. And the powerful ally it is. Life creates it. Makes it grow. Its energy 
surround us and bind us. Luminous beings don't eat not this crude matter. You must feel the force around you. Here, between you, me, the tree, the rock, everywhere. Yes, even between the land and the ship. Honestly, this game is not only a great service to Star Wars fans, but FromSoft fans as well. If you love Sekiro and can't wait for Elden Ring, or the inevitable Demon Souls remaster, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is the game for you. Technical issues aside, I'd go as far as to say this game's another classic, and it just makes me hope that more companies borrow the Sekiro formula. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Ghost of Tsushima. Anyway, I'm Kumtoki. This has been Beyond Animation. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Somewhere. I recognize that stance. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who was your master? Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps? What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? <laughs>